Next stop is the golf course. Oh, we're gonna have to behave, we're going to the golf course. People behave at golf courses a lot, you know. What you see in there? A troop of baboons. The, the rest run away, there's one sat on the pole. I don't entirely feel like we've done gentlemanly things. I feel wild. I look wild after all that activity and now we're at the um, Polo village and uh, very posh. Darren Barker. Set up to do a lot of a lot of stuff, yes. and if you want to come and do golf, you've got to like take the rest of the day off. Have clear. It's kind of like the clear my agenda. I'm playing golf, and we've got an agenda. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gentleman's valley. Yeah. So in the gentleman's valley, they play golf. Of course, they play golf. What else would you do besides play polo, ride a motorbike, ride quad bikes, drink wine? But I don't think we're going to have time to play any golf. I think we're going to have a quick drive around in a golf cart. Maybe I get to hit a few balls on the driving range. Yeah. I get to laugh at Dean at the same time. But uh, it's a pretty beautiful view, I must admit. Okay, you don't want to see our ugly mugs anymore. No. Proper club sandwich. Doubled up. That's pretty good. It's time to go drive around in the golf course. And look yeah, it wild. Out. Dean, we're at a really posh golf course. Do you know how that? There is a tracker in the bloody thing telling us where we are. It's actually pretty cool now. I'm here. <laughs> I will. Uh, Yaku here, he can watch me and see how he does and then I'll let him hit one and uh, see how we compare. No laughing. How long have you been playing golf, Yaku? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? Uh, on the right hand side we have a, a water feature, we'll call this right now, but that would class that as a hazard. Please stay away. I'm hoping to reach the birds, which will be a good shot for me. How far will you get it past them? Uh, oh. Maybe just past them, maybe 10 Just past them. So if I can get to them, that'll be a good shot. If I miss the ball, that'll be embarrassing. Oh, it's in the drink. I cleared the bloody birds. Is that out of no, bounds? it's in the rasp. No, still in play, still in play. Still in play? Yeah. I've actually got you here, because I bounced on the road, I think. <laughs> Sorry about that one. No, no, no. Uh, so yes, this is the guy who plays off plus two, <laughs> <laughs> and I outdrove him, but I got lucky because I bounced on the road. It, oh, it's, it feels so awkward when you like it's. Bend your knees. Yeah. You know you ripped your jeans. I oh, know I've already ripped them today. So. <laughs> okay, angle like that. Good. Lower. Uh, Not these one move. Yeah, move. <laughs> Designed and built by Jack Nicholas. Okay. You know, one of five very special golf courses in South Africa. 18 hole golf course. First golf course to host uh, three consecutive ESA Opens in South Africa. Okay. It's quite a big milestone. And we've had the likes of Ernie Alves and uh, Gary Player, Jack Nicholas, all the, you know, big, the big mm. names come out and play golf here. So a lot of, lot of great scenery. Um, do a lot of rounds throughout the year. And uh, it's just a, it's a beautiful setting in, in, in the Western Cape. Okay, approach view. You want to see this thing in this golf cart from this tee. Was it that one? Yeah, I play from there. I actually managed to hit nearly the front of the fairway. I actually landed here next yeah. to this tree there. Turn to golf, choose a hole, sight map. Here we are. We're all heading back towards the clubhouse. Watching my road book. 
gonna get lost because you've got a fully interactive. <laughs> you can't let it go. <laughs> He's mentioned that like there's at least six minutes of footage of you being amazed by the GPS. I'm amazed. We're on a golf course. What the monkey is flipping on call? What is this all about? It's actually interactive screen telling me where I am on the course. I am so flipping impressed. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're a runner, this is pretty nice. I you? would. We're at Pearl Valley! What a day. It is at the Darren's moment, doing a little bit of business uh, on the golf course. And then I'm looking at two other products then as well at the same time. We are traveling just down the road back towards where we were earlier to the Freedom Bike Adventure something and a bar. <laughs> I'm looking crazy at like Tim Burton. Seems pretty new. I don't know if you meant to go ride your motorbike in the mud. Maybe that's what I meant to do, go ride a motorbike in the mud. Are you serious? With a suicide shift and everything? Yes. This is pretty. Haven't you just got this? Yes, we got it in a few weeks back. Yeah. So you can't find tequila in the Wineland. Yes. Best I could call it is a biker's bar, but. Not like a traditional biker's bar, I wouldn't say. It's got some retro and some classics in there. biker then you definitely know that one of the biggest custom car makers and uh, of cars and bikes in America is called West Coast Customs and West Coast Choppers and so this is an original build from those guys in America which is pretty cool I can't imagine there's many of these in South Africa I did it for the shot you did well, I had a beer for the shot. And I'm going to go back in the bar because uh, we're on the Winelands and they do serve tequila and that is my drink of choice. You're here for the whole night and that's why you're not drinking anything. Yes, I'm on duty, I can't drink. Oh, right, yeah, in a biker bar. Yeah, in no, no, no. Yeah, no. rubbish. No, 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 no. <laughs> From our accommodation to here. Where are you guys staying? There's somewhere near Amberg. Who? Amberg. We don't know. It's Deutsch. No, you sound like the guy from Pink Panther. Um, Amberg. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Amberg. <laughs> There's a lot of fine dining, a lot of fancy restaurants, and it was just a case of you know you don't have to be fancy when you come here. You can come in in your like you were saying. Yeah, come like in come in. Look, look, you can come in. No collars required. No shoes. Yeah. She says I can't have any more tequila. I don't know why. <laughs> I think he's going great. Hi Wayne, Dean. Hello Dean, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Shall I show you to your room? That's perfect. And Let's then... do that then you can... Uh... I've, just opened it. I've just poured myself a milk one. Wow, your place is incredible. And we are, we came to my house. You are, kind of, yes. I'm assuming you're going to want to bring your equipment back. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of... So there's a charging and so on. Yeah. So there's um, a space here for your equipment. This place, ah, I, we ha I have to wake up at the crack of dawn to get the best shots here. I mean, look at this at night. Strudel. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't even look, I just knew it. If it's Austrian, it's Strudel. Yes. 
aber sehr gut Deutsch, ja. oder? Das denke ich, oder? Ich habe in Österreich gelebt. Aha. Hamburg actually comes from a Swiss lady's water farm. Okay. Actually started this whole thing. Right. Hamburg is Hamburg, as you know. Yeah. It just means at the mountain. At the mountain. So you guys run this together? Yes, yeah. yes. Come, come and join me. So this is the team that makes this place happen. Um, um, I'm Austrian and she was also living 12 yeah. years in Austria, that's why our menu uh, consists of a lot of Austrian dishes. I have been here before and everything's more or less the same, but I, I can feel like the art is a new thing. So tell me about the art. Is that a new addition? The art is a new addition, yes. Yeah. Uh, owners from the guest house, the owners of the whole property. Yeah. They like to buy in art from local, all local artists. Okay. And Actually, so our restaurant is a platform. Nice. And yeah. does it change? Does it re it's revolve? changing and it's all for sale as well. So. Okay. So what are you recommending we eat today? Uh, it's a very crumbed Wiener schnitzel. I have one portion of lamb left. Have that. Oh, well, half and half. It's lamb cutlets. Yeah. Bratkartoffeln. It's a nice veg. And a Why did? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why didn't you offer me that? You anyway going to make half half? <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about this place is the beautiful people, as always. Right, so the gentleman's meander is now finished. We've completed it. We didn't do everything that's in the book, but we had a very busy and active day and quite enjoyed that. Would you call it the gentleman's meander complete? I would say there's two different types of gentlemen in this world. Fine dining and wine and golf and polo is your thing, then this route was for you. And if adventure and beer and schnitzel is your thing, then this is the route for you too. So there are definitely two types of gentlemen in this world and um, yeah, gentlemen's it's done. We're moving on to the next one tomorrow. We're going to do Route 3 into Toys Kloof Meander. <laughs> one there. And the lamb cutlets. Merci for all. Lamb cutlets on the side. So this is asparagus wrapped in bacon. <sighs> Green beans. What are they? Green beans. Green Sorry, beans. I'm closed. <laughs> 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 it's green. <laughs> it's green. Even though I named everything wrong, the most important thing is not the name, it's what it tastes like. And this is, it's bloody good. <laughs> you look tired. Look I should that. have offered you a schnapps. I No. Okay. Wow, that's a proper schnapps glass. That's yeah, a cool we glass. do everything Cheers. proper here. Cheers. I must learn that way of drinking it. You know, I was always like, ha, ah, <laughs> <laughs>Come, come to Amberg for cream and really? ice cream. No. <laughs> come to Amberg. Uh, apple strudel to share with apple cream and ice cream. <laughs> Look at your eyes. Oh, that's why I came. <laughs> it's the only reason I'm here. They, I know they're going to do like, you have a snittle. And I'm like... <laughs> what I'm is like, that? <laughs> I don't want a snittle. I want a strudel! Uh, I want a strudel! Thank you. Oh, we only meant to have one. No, that's oh, one. Oh, is it? That's that shared. is one. Shared. That's shared. That is beautiful. Thank you very much. Apple strudel. Apple strudel. Apple strudel. Apple strudel. Apple strudel. <laughs> And I won't lie, I actually recently watched scenes oh. from that <laughs> uh, movie Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> you just, uh, how many? I think the fourth or fifth or sixth. And I watched it as well. Favorite part? Cigarette. Yes. But I wouldn't ever do it. But that just that the way it doesn't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. This is so good. plenty. So good. <laughs> We've got a Leicester City fan. <laughs> the people. Yeah. They were amazing. Just before we go, I have to show you this place in the daytime. So here comes an insert of Amberg in the day. It is just after 10 at night. We are completely finished. But I am having one more glass of wine because that's what you do in the winelands. So thanks to our hosts. And um, we can't see 
what this place has to offer right now other than a really really awesome pool but the manor house is a 300 year old place and um, as soon as the sun comes up we're going to give you some epic b-roll so um, good night it's a doll house That's what it is. this time lapse to bring you the story of how the drone got stuck in a tree. Yeah, see the red lights flashing up in the tree. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna get to this one. <laughs> Toys Kloof. This is route number three. It's called De Toys Kloof Meander. And if you don't know what De Toys Kloof is, well, it's the mountain pass that goes over here above the tunnel into the rest of the winelands in the Boerland. the sunrise from every angle we could get including from a tree ahead of us today we're going to take a take it easy take a light stroll through this region up here close to the mountain the owner just came and brought this book to me Elita and her life with FW de Klerk I've actually been reading it for half an hour already I'm going to struggle to put it down and I know he's not going to let me take it with me it's the only uh, copy they have here, isn't it? Yeah, but there's this pictures in here of dignitaries and politicians from all over the world who have actually spent time at this beautiful manor house. Photos prove it. I mean, there's... Th that, that's Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. On right, the stoop. Right there. there. Of, of this house. <laughs> if you get the opportunity to come to the manor house, I would take it with both hands. I do know that it's been opened up more to the public than it ever was in the past. It was always a very private dwelling. Mm. Um, this book's in the bookshelf. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? 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 learned something on the way out. The name is because in the winter time the rivers get so big on that farm that they move boulders and when the boulders start rolling down the farm it sounds like horses hooves galloping along and that's where Wildpadejacht, it, which translates to wild horses charging kind of thing. Running? Running. Well, yacht is like a hunt, but it's... Oh right, yeah. Yacht. I know that. Yeah. It's the same in Denny. Uh-huh. We're at La Paris and we're going for breakfast in the bistro. I think if you're getting married, this would be one of the considerations. I'm not getting married. I'm starving and I hear the Egg Benedict is the best in Paul. So let's go check that out. Going eggs Benedict boat. And how would you like an eggs dad? Uh, I don't know, I'm not an eggs Benedict person here. Medium. Medium, okay. Coffee kind of sir. Together with the big Scotty. The girls are having champagne for breakfast. That's what you get when you live in Paul. Right now we are at uh, La Paris Bistro. 
La Paris, the French. The reason everything's French is because we are along the Huguenot Mountains, where we woke up with that sunrise. That's the Huguenot Mountains, which stretches from Paul to Franchuk. We're about halfway between Paul and Franchuk. Sorted. Je m'appelle Dean. J'habite en Paris. Uh, mon café c'est très bien. Thank you very much. Pleasure. So I'm going to talk you through eggs Benedict now. Wanna move my feet? Wanna move my feet? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drink my wine? Wanna drink my wine? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drink my wine? 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 La Paris Estate. So it is a wedding and events location situated yep. out here in the picturesque Franchuk Valley. Um, we do have two outdoor areas which are most popular for wedding ceremonies. The big field. Uh, so just just <laughs> just next to the big field. Yeah, yeah. We usually we can do bigger weddings on that side. Wow. Marquee and, and Bedouin weddings. I mean, so like 200 to, people. Yeah, or thousand. Thousand. Huge! So Who can afford to invite a thousand people to a wedding? I know it wouldn't be mine. Our largest indoor venue actually can seat up to 400 guests banquet style with a dance floor. It is, I must say, like with all of our guests who come as soon as they arrive through the gate, they do say, and I mean I work here every single day, yeah. and it is, it's a very tranquil, peaceful, you feel it, like as soon as your feet step onto the estate, mm -hmm. It is incredibly, incredibly peaceful. Is it more with Paul or more with Franchuk? Ah. Our, our gate, our fence You're line on that now, side, you know, it is though. no, it is literally <laughs> smack bang in the middle. Is it? It's smack bang. We are literally like that side of the fence is Paul and the side of the fence is Franchuk. I'm feeling French though. I'm it feeling is, French. It is. So yeah. obviously we do go a little bit more to the Franchuk side mm. and our personal address is in Franchuk. Oh, um, okay. And that's just that on but, Google. <laughs> just arrived at the Cascade Country Manor. Uh, this is everything along the road that we drove seemed to have pointed towards a waterfall and I think that's what we want to come and check out here. It's quite interesting when you drive along the main road and you look at the mountain you don't realize that every road that veers off the main road goes up into a separate valley. You can't imagine the valley until you get there and then it's like a whole nother world each time. So, there's so much to explore. It's it's crazy. I mean, you can never see it all. I think Paul Tourism's done a great job of sending us on the road less traveled. Welcome to Cascade Countryman. I'll direct you to the waterfall. secrets that you would never know about if somebody didn't tell you and the cool thing is I'm telling you so if you're driving along that road 
outside of Powell and you see the waterfall road up into the valley. Drive up there, come check out this, this beautiful setting here. Anyone for Valentine's? How does the spa burner over there? I'm a little bummed out actually because we don't have enough time to stay and get a massage and we were offered one. What a beautiful place. I'm really sorry we weren't able to spend more time here. I know. You're welcome to have a spa treatment at the waterfall. But you've got your significant other, I'd definitely get back here and jump on here. Next to the stream, next to the waterfall, beautiful surroundings. It's a no-brainer and you're definitely, definitely going to get really high on that uh, scale of being in the you-know-what voice. <laughs> The waterfall is actually on private property, so it is a property of the manor. It now, just because you're not necessarily staying over here doesn't mean you can't enjoy the, the valley and the walks because they do also have hiking trails. So what you can do is you can check in at the manor here um, for a hiking trail and get up in the mountain. Don't know, just got a good haircut. Uh, check yourself out there. Uh, what's your name? How do I get into Paul to go and drink, drink wine, have because dinner and get If back I stay at your place, you are a little bit off the beaten track and I'm gonna like struggle to get my car up and down the hill when I'm drunk. So, <laughs> how I'm gonna so get... let us struggle for you. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. So we've got a shuttle service that we can take you into Paul. We can take you to neighboring wine farms. So you'll drive me around and I can get drunk, is that what you're saying? We'll drop you off. Okay. You can get drunk <laughs> and disorderly and we'll pick you up. Perfect for an Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> Should have made this your last stop and stayed. No, see what we found is everywhere we went, we stayed for another hour. Mm. So if we came here, we'd stay for another day. Exactly. So that would be our problem. <laughs> and we have a lot of water to tempt you with, not only the waterfall, three swimming pools. Yo. Have you got three? We have indoor as well in our spa. Uh, then you go to <laughs> film the next place I'm staying. <laughs> Welcome to Niederberg Wines. Can't say I know much about Niederberg, apart from the fact that it's a very famous name. This is Paul. The point is, is we're giving you a taster, a taster, a wine taster, <laughs> but the things you can actually do around here in Paul. So the 